I've had an interesting um, few days, and one of the lessons that I got, and I'm still trying to, to process, is uh, I've been kind of out of the flow since my birthday. You know, not like depressed, well, I had some depression, but not miserable, just kind of feeling like having trouble getting my ducks in order. I've got, you know, intellectually, I'm excited about Burning Man stuff, but I'm having trouble getting going in that. And intellectually, I'm excited about my work. And I'm having trouble getting going with that. And I've just really been feeling, trying to get aligned, trying to get aligned. Then, you know, my back has been giving me all these problems. And, well, quickly on the back thing. So, I actually, um, well, Friday, I was driving in L.A. in rush hour. And I'd give myself plenty of time to get to where I need to be. Thank goodness I gave myself like an hour, two hours to get across town. If my mouth isn't in sync, that's because my Kung Fu is better than yours. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that would be. It's, it's uh, you know, we're dealing with the cutting edge technology, although this has been the same cutting edge technology for years now. I'm not sure why it's not better. I'll try to uh, delay my speaking so that I make it a little bit better. Um, so Friday, I'm in traffic, I'm in rush hour, and I, and I keep, you know, I'm just kind of marveling at the chaos of, of Friday LA traffic and see a, a several near accidents. And I was on my way to something that was, I was supposed to be there at six. And so and it was kind of, a, kind of a retreat type thing with some friends. And um, I was wondering, like, oh, I wonder what I would do if I got an accident. You know, like in during all this chaos, like would I just be late to where I was going, or would I, you know, deal with what I was, you know, when I go to the hospital? Would I? I mean, like, I really want to go where I'm going, but you know, I, I just was kind of pondering, what would I do if I got an accident right now? Because it certainly seems very realistic. Five minutes later, I got rear-ended. I was at a stop light. Cars in front of me took the free right, took the free right. It was my turn. I started to go on the free right. Ooh, saw that there's a car barreling down, hit stop, and then the car behind me um, accelerated, saw that, you know, just gunned it into the back of my car. And I was looking this way, and immediately, as soon as it hit me, I felt my back just go, Bleh! I mean, it wasn't, my car has just got a minor scratch on the bumper, but I definitely felt it in my back, which worried me a little bit. I was also a little like freaked out that here I was five minutes ago saying, hmm, I'm thinking about accidents. Five minutes later, <laughs> I get an accident. I'm like, oh, why wasn't I thinking about, you know, hot tubbing with models? Damn it. Monitor your thoughts. Monitor your thoughts. So I will keep you posted on the back stuff. I'm not sure. I'm, you know, I also was stressing a lot. Like, do I, I really didn't want to claim it, but I also don't want to get in trouble if I, you know, end up having to get stuff from my back later. And so, just a little reminder: this is a powerful tool of manifestation. So, I, I, I think it's a reminder for me to be more disciplined and not not focus on what I don't want. Focus on the direction of what I do want. So I've been I've been not feeling good about my body. And uh, and, it, and I need to be very conscious about not not thinking about what I want changed or what I want the, the what, what's what I'm not happy with, and instead think about what will make me happy. What the be start at the at the where, where I want to end. Let's say part of the seven habits of highly effective people. You know, start with the end in mind, and then use that image to, to pull me along. Now, hmm, that's a little bit contrary to the idea of going with the flow. Well, you got me. There is a very, I think that is one of the challenges of the middle ground of a spiritual path. In the very beginning, you have no concept of, of the flow or of anything different between your thoughts and your heart. Your, your, what, what you think is what you think. There is no, it's you. And then as you start to go along this path and you start to realize, wait a minute, I don't have to believe my thoughts. That doesn't necessarily true just because I thought it. And then you start to realize, okay, so there's a difference between what I think and truth. 
and you spend a long time and listen to a lot of teachers and read a lot of books and listen, go inside a lot to try to chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away of what is just a thought that may have come from all sorts of places to what's truth that comes from source. Now, on the other end of the spectrum is people who are just dialed in and they never, they always know when the thought is not real and always know when this is true. But for the rest of us, it's kind of this constant challenge of going, wait, wait, was that, was that, was that something that I got from my dad or was that something that just feels right? Oh, I don't know. And you got to kind of sit with it, go inward and sometimes it's trial and error. Sometimes it's going with the thought and realizing, okay, it's starting to feel wrong. Let me try again. Um, someone said, just like the playa works, that's a great, uh, I mean, Burning Man and being on the playa is this, is also just a, it's almost like a, a, a scrimmage that just teaches you how powerful it can be when you can surrender and, and let things happen. Your back is my main support. Yeah, I know, I use it a lot. So I'm trying to let go of expectations, but it's also a powerful uh, reminder that yes, I my body is not 18, and there are things that I need to do as far as respecting it, keeping up with it, training it, stretching it, nourishing it in every way, food-wise, spirit-wise, and movement-wise. So I am. I am working on my patterns of thought towards health, towards thriving, towards flow. <laughs>